Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to another Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town video and today is, well actually it's the 28th of summer but I'm going to sleep and we're going to the first day of fall and I'm really really looking forward to seeing how the season looks like, I want to see the new colors so I decided to record this day for you and so let's take a look all right so here is autumn and i feel like the colors are not that different there's a bit of a yellowish tone but not that much right but here's autumn and look at this oh my gosh uh, okay so we've got a new type of cow right here and a rabbit so it seems like when you first go into autumn you might encounter new animals so that's amazing so let's take care of that brown cow uh how should we name her all right so her name is gonna be choco like for chocolate because she's brown and okay that's a very good surprise actually i wasn't expecting anything <laughs> that special and our little rabbit is still here so let's adopt our little rabbit and oh so i thought the rabbits were going to be in the chicken coop because in mineral town they go with the chickens but actually in this one they go in the barn which means i'm really gonna have to uh, expand my barn soon because it's full so how should we name our rabbit all right, so I decided to name my rabbit Jessica. <laughs> I don't know why, I just felt inspired by that name. So, all right, so let's see how our animals are doing. I'm gonna let them outside, of course. But yeah, so we've got Jessica here. And yeah, <laughs> and our Choco. All right, so these are our new animals. Let's pet everybody and let them go out so if they go outside actually they don't have to eat this so every day when it's sunny I make sure to let them out and actually they couldn't go out too much during the summer because it was raining a lot and if you guys couldn't attend the last live stream actually I was explaining that during thunderstorms you can actually go out in this story of seasons because usually in most story of seasons games you're gonna be stuck inside the whole day and when you go out your crops will be damaged and you'll have lots of uh, rocks and stuff on your farm but actually in this one you can still go out even during the storms and it doesn't do much it's just <laughs> very windy but yes yeah, so we're gonna take care of our makers so I've been on top of my things recently and I've organized everything, so I have my minerals here. Well, that's not a mineral, let's just, sorry. Let's just remove this. But yeah, my minerals here, my wood here. So I've been very organized. I organized this actually uh, with you guys during the last live stream. So thank you for doing that with me. So let's do this. So right now I'm trying to get a lot of these planks to, first of all, uh, build this table so I can have a horse and also I want to expand my house so I can have a second pet so let's take care of our little mayonnaise so if you guys don't know the silk chicken make two mayonnaise they make brown eggs and uh, with the brown eggs you can get two mayonnaise so since we got two new animals this morning I'm curious to see if we go up here of course, there's a horse, but I can't adopt him yet because I need to... Let me see what I need. Yeah, there's a lot of planks that I'm missing. Uh, okay, so I don't think... Oh! So, okay, I don't think I can adopt this, but I can definitely take a picture for the new... Oh, that's a goat! Actually, yeah, we can adopt goat. You can have goats in this game. But, uh, my barn is full! Ah, uh, you're so cute. I want you. Okay, I'm sure she's gonna be there tomorrow as well. So, yeah, it seems like the animals that spawn in the wild... I think there's one of each animal that will spawn in the wild. And after you get the first one, you have to 
Oh, that's a new bird. Uh, yeah, let's have new things in fall. And yeah, once you get one of each animal, then you can breed them. And actually, to breed your animals, so I wanted to breed some chickens. But before you can breed them, you need to reach level 5 in your animal care skill. Which I've now reached. So I wanted to breed some chickens. But it turns out you need to have the big chicken coop to do that. And I think there's some animals, certain animals you have to uh, get level 7 in animal care skill before you can breed them. So we're gonna have to see what we can do. But I think before... Oh, yeah, actually you can't do that. Uh, before increasing, before expanding my chicken coop, I think I would like to expand my barn, right? Because we have the little goat. So these are crops. I think uh, these were pepper. Actually, <laughs> I don't remember from summer, but everything else I'm going to have to plant again. So let's go buy some new stuff. And maybe we can bring Mickey for a walk. Alright, so let's explore the town. Let's see if there's anything new. Also, you know what guys? I have completely missed the fireworks festival. It was in the summer. So it was actually during a live stream. So it was on the 22nd and I was really looking forward to it. And I was just busy mining and <laughs> decorating my farm and I completely forgot. But you know what? It's okay. We're gonna attend next uh, year. And let's say hi to Jack. And alright, so... Oh, we have Blair walking outside. I feel like I never see her outside. So she says that she likes the look of the new benches. Because actually not too long ago, Victor asked me to... Uh, renovate the benches. So these are the new benches. In my opinion, they're not <laughs> that much better than the previous ones. Like, there were benches there before, they're just a little bit better, but not that much. Um, okay, so what I want to do, I'm gonna buy seeds, but I want to see if I can expand my barn. I think I don't have everything I need. So to expand your barn, you need 10 gold and 50 of that grass and uh, 10, I think, supple wood planks. So I think I have the planks and the grass i just need the gold but maybe we can do that maybe we can do it and okay so you know what let's check for the chicken coop what we need so a chicken coop you need the hardwood planks 10 uh silver and guts and another kind of grass i think you know what i think we should be able to do that Okay, I just want to buy some seeds before we go back home. I want to try to limit the back and forth between the different areas. All right, so let's see. So we still have tomato, eggplant, and pepper from uh, that grow both in summer and autumn. But I want something different. So there's spinach that grow in four days. So that's really quick. Maybe we could do, I don't know, like nine spinach just to have a few because i'm thinking they're not gonna make that much money carrot the same maybe just nine is fine and then okura which i'm not sure what's the english name of that but eight days we can buy nine of that as well and a sweet potato oh i like sweet potato and radish i feel like radish oh yeah <laughs> radish grow in every season except winter um, and the sweet potatoes are kind of expensive, so you know what? Let's go crazy with the sweet potatoes. Uh, actually, yeah, 27. Alright. I need to keep money for my barn. And also there's a lot of... Oh, let me see. I want to see the trees. So there's olive. Of course, olive town. We need some olives and grapes. I really want to buy trees... Uh, but I think I'm gonna wait for the second year because you can't move trees around and I'm not 100% sure of what the final layout of my farm is gonna be and You know, I want to wait until I 
expand all of my buildings and everything is more like final and then I'm gonna decide where to put my trees because I feel like if I put trees somewhere now in two seasons I'm gonna want to move everything around so I'm just holding on a little bit before that but yeah um, all right so let's continue um, what were we doing okay so yeah let's plant these so, uh, let's see, so uh, we have our sweet potatoes, alright, so that's our sweet potato, then we have okura, and here is going to be my carrot, so I'm still going to have one extra carrot seed, and here's my spinach, and I've also recently upgraded my watering can, I also have lots of uh, I have <laughs> lots of silver tools and a few gold such as my watering can and my oops and my hammer Sorry, I'm, I kind of messed up there, but that's okay. Oops. I keep messing up. Okay. All right. Just a moment <laughs> all right, Like this so it's so much faster with the gold watering can and after gold it's not Diamond quite yet. It's I think it in English. It's Ari Calcon tools so you need a recalcon and some gold. So that's the next level after gold tools. And I'm guessing that after that, there will be diamonds. I always <laughs> forget my father. You know what? Let's just pick it up. And I'm going to have to water it as well. All right. Already 1.30 p.m. I feel like the days go by so fast. Almost every day I've been finishing my days like between midnight and 2 a.m. I feel like there's so, so, so much to do. Whereas when I was playing Mineral Tom, I used to always go to sleep at like 6 p.m. or so. Because I didn't know what to do. Okay, so my gold is almost ready. Okay, let me see if I have the planks I need. Okay, so I actually don't have enough silver left for the bigger chicken coop. Uh, I'm gonna have to make it. I have enough gold for my barn, so let's make the silver for my chicken coop. And let's make the wood for my barn. And after that, I should be able... Well, I still need... Oops. Actually, I still need quite a bit. But after that, I should be able to upgrade both buildings. And I'm really curious to see how big they're going to be. I just want to show you my maker. So I've got this here. This is to change colors. If you put flowers, you can make dyes like paints and you can change the color of some items such as the toolbox. And you can also, yeah, so here I put my grass here to make some threads and then I put it here to make cloth. And then I put my yarn here to make like, I put my wool here to make yarn and then I put my yarn here to make some kind of fabric. Uh, but you need two of them. so. You need a lot. So here is my kind of little textile area. But it's a lot of work. Uh, <laughs> it is definitely a lot of work. So I think I have all the grass I need for uh, expanding my chicken coop and barn. So I'm just going to wait for my wood. And in the meantime, what should we do? You know what? I'm just going to gather some extra grass. I've recently upgraded my sickle, so it's a lot faster to collect this. Also, I think there's only three areas for the farm. So this area that I'm in right now would be the third and the last one. You can't make your farm bigger beyond that. But you know what? I think that's perfectly fine because it's already quite big. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with all of this space. I'm probably going to have an area, so I still have to repair the beehive, but I'm probably going to make an area with bees, areas with mushrooms and fruit trees, so things that are just once every few days. And then maybe this second area would be for my animals and my makers, and my first area for my garden. Well, actually, this area is quite small for a garden. It's not too small, but it's not too big either. I made other makers as well. So I have this one. It's an essence maker. So if you put flowers, you can get an essence. And I think after that, you can make perfumes. But I'm not too, too sure uh, if you go to the florist. And here, if you use the rock salt 
and uh, or the pepper you can make pepper and if you sugar can you can make sugar and this one you can make flour and this one you can make some sauce like soy sauce if you put the soybeans but I haven't made any yet actually all right so my silver is ready all right so you know what to repair the beehive I need this type of wood so let me gather some wood and maybe we can even build the beehive as well as expanding our other buildings that wood is really really hard to get actually I'm gonna have to upgrade my axe I feel like there's <laughs> just so much things I have to do but oh I want to see I want to see if that bird is back that we saw earlier today. I really want to take a picture of him. Nope, no birds. All right, we don't have too much energy left. I'm just gonna clean these puddles. And actually, I learned one thing today. One of you guys told me, but if you empty this and oh, I just got a level up in the water removing skill and yeah if you hit the puddle, the hole with a hammer it's gonna fix itself okay you know what I think I'm running out of energy it's 10 p.m. I'm gonna go to bed oh we've got a little chestnut over here oh my bag is full let me just put some thing here let me put these away so I'm gonna have to do, go to the museum for these but for now let me put them there and let's take our little chestnut and let's water these very quickly all right so our crops are good for today and now let's see if we have enough to expand one of our buildings so when these three silvers are done, I should be okay to expand my coop. All right, so this is working. And now let's take care of our animals very quickly. All right, so I'm curious to see what kind of milk the brown cow is gonna get. Oh, you know what? It's just the regular milk. So I don't think it makes any difference. Ooh, and I've got a superior milk from Momo. Oh, where is it? Oh, yeah, right here. Oh, she gave me actually two milk. Ooh, that's amazing. That's good. So sometimes your animals have a chance of producing high quality products. So I'm not sure it's worth it to transform into yogurt. So I'm gonna do that and one cheese. Some mayonnaise. All right, so while our last silver and planks are getting ready before we can expand, I'm gonna go get more wood. All right, so our silver is ready. And if I didn't forget anything, we should be okay to expand our chicken coop. And I don't know if the expansion is instant or not, but when it's done, we'll be able to breed our chicken and see how that works. All right, so hopefully I didn't forget anything. Oh, I forgot to take my wood. Okay, let me. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. I, oh, I can actually do both. Okay. Um, What should we start with? Let's start with this one. And oh, I'm just short of 600, 700. But, okay, maybe we can do that tomorrow. All right, so for the barn, you actually have the expansion in your inventory here. So you actually have to remove... It's actually a different one. I thought it was just going to be uh, an actual expansion. So, okay, let me just try to find some space. You know what? Maybe I can do something over here. Maybe over there in the corner, I if I just cut everything. So let's cut everything and see how that looks. All right, now is the moment of truth. Let's see how that looks. Where are you, barn? Okay, here. 
so let's place it like this all right so we've got our big barn let's see how it looks inside so i think all right so this is the big barn so you can have more animals and this is where if you want to breed animals uh you need this big one so maybe we should just move everybody here and then we can put the other smaller barn there just beside it so they could the both of them could be there so oh let's find actually yeah let's find our little goat right here all right so her name is naomi so yeah here's our little goat naomi uh let's get her some friends because she's gonna be very lonely otherwise so let's move all of our animals all right so i'm probably gonna move them later but for now it's gonna be like this and i think i'm gonna keep my chicken where they are so yeah i like it with the little pond let's take a look with our camera so yeah we have the little pond with the two little barns i think that's pretty cute and maybe I'm gonna put the stable there later. Actually, I think I would like to have the stable near my house so I can access to my mounts easily. So let's move everybody together. Okay, everybody has been migrated. Oh, just one missing. And now I wanna go to the pet shop very quickly. Hopefully I can get there before it closes. And I want to see if I can breed any of these. All right, so let's see breeding animals. Okay, so I can breed the normal cow, sheep, and alpaca. But if you want to breed the brown cow or the goat or the sheep or anything else, you're going to need to get to animal caretaking skills level 7. But you know what? I think I would like to have another cow like this. So you have to pay 3,000. I think it's worth it. And let's see. So then we have a little baby that's going to be on the way eventually. So definitely now I'm not going to have enough money for a chicken coop tomorrow. But you know what? <laughs> I think it's good. We were very productive today. I just need to make a few more. Also, I don't know what kind of crops I'm going to be able to grow in winter. So that's why I want to get as many animals as I can before then. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to click like and subscribe. And if there's anything you'd like me to cover on Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town, feel free to let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Oh, let me just move this. Oop. All right, so I just want to get my silo. Oop. All right, <laughs> I want to get my silo here, but my pockets are full. All right, now we should be good. All right, like this. All right, all right, we're done, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.